Where are you today, Tom? I'll tell you. Because you'll have no idea from this shocking footage. Look at this complete fail at an expansive shot. Here I am trying to look all cool and contemplative with this impressive view unfolding before our very eyes. But instead, what you get is a couple of rocks and me looking like a complete burk. Check your angles, people. Lest ye too wish to look like a twat. It is currently six o'clock. I am in a campsite in Western Supermare. Yeah. It is raining heavily. Ugh. It's a way to wake you up. Hot damn. I've been for a run, showered, and I'm sitting down just doing a little bit of editing, having my breakfast, doing coffee. The other day I waterproofed the roof. I don't know if you're gonna have the video, but it's above me. I took the roof off and thank God I did because it is absolutely pissing it down right now. It was a lot worse before. There's no water coming in at the moment. Great. I haven't started driving yet. The first time I realized that there was water coming through was when I was driving and I was driving into the rain and it was kind of coming through where my foot is gonna be and it was coming through up there. I think today is gonna to be the big test. Did the work that I put in over the last week actually pay off? I am ready to go. I've done all my pre-flight checks. The pre-flight check being, did you pull the choke out? And I hadn't done the pre-flight check, but saying I'd done the pre-flight check made me do the pre-flight check. So I can get this thing started. Come on, baby. First time. I'm heading down to Nuki and I'm going the scenic route. The long way down. Right, let's hope the van can get us there as well. Because um, if she can't, it looks like I'm getting a lift all the way back to Bolton. That dog was going mental. I've got to get to Nuki, but I could get there tomorrow if I wanted to. So what I've done is I've chosen the most indirect route that goes right along the coast. I'm in a place called... Oh, Minehead. I'm almost at Minehead. And um, yeah, I've chosen to go to Minehead, another town, and another town, and another town, and cut through just to kind of hug the coast. The most direct route goes through the middle of the country along an A road. This is an A road, but it's a single track winding through the countryside, and it is beautiful. It's perfect with this van because uh, this van can't really go that fast. I like just taking it easy, meandering around, and seeing what I come across. I might stop off and get a cup of tea in a bit. I don't know, who knows? I'm a rebel. I'm a total rebel, without a cause. Oh, it's my right away. Thank you, thank you everybody, thank you. Minehead. It's a quaint little town. So I am at some kind of castle ahead of me. Don't know what it's called. I was driving along near Minehead and I saw this castle in the trees and I thought, well, you know, when you're driving, you can stop where you want. No one's the boss of me, I'm my own boss. So being my own boss, I said, Tom, it's time you stopped somewhere. So I stopped. Dunster Castle. What happens in Dunster Castle stays in Dunster Castle. Right, now I'm going to tell you all about Dunster Castle. Well, actually I'm not because I can't remember. But I'll piece together some of what I can remember for you. Dunster Castle was built long ago by some dead people. Generations came and went until one day one of the family turned out to be a knobhead. This guy, I won't name names, 
was a stickler for paying his tax and refused to transfer the property to his descendants before he was dead. So upon his death, the death duties on a property like this were so high that the family had to sell the castle and all of its land. They eventually managed to buy it back in the end. Yay! However, sometime in the 70s the property was given to the National Trust. And here it remains. Peter Gabriel will be pleased. It's actually really nice. I also, when I was coming in, I was looking at the ticket prices and I saw it was like £13 to get in and I was a bit like, oh man. But then a guy approached me who worked here and he said, are you a member of the National Trust? And I said, no. Well, if you become a member of the National Trust, it's £6 a month direct debit and then you can get to go in all these locations for free. Um, and so I became a member of the National Trust and just walked right in. All right, what's down to the right here? It's a reservoir. Ooh, let's go up these steps. Clippity clop, clip clop. Get out of the way, people. I'm not interested. All I want to see is this reservoir. And ooh, it's purple. It's there's people inside the reservoir. I always think water wheels are brilliant. Do do I really though? Water wheels and just very very um, ingenious inventions. Well, I've clearly got nothing to say about water wheels. And here we've got two water wheels here serving the Dunstall, Dunster Castle water mill. Well, I've found Dunster Castle a wonderful place to go and visit if you're driving past Dunster on your way to Cornwall or on your way from Cornwall for that matter. It doesn't matter which way you're going. Anywhere you're going, you can still go and visit Dunster Castle. That car is being menacingly slow. I hope it's not going to offer me any sweets. I am really behind schedule now. Well, I'm just going to have to cut all my other stops off short, so there isn't time. I've got to get to Michael. Michael, I'm coming. Let's take this off. So that's a good ND filter there because uh, the sun's right in my face. Anyway, yeah, I had to stop at this amazing location I saw. I got lost a little bit. Right, I'm using a different mic, kids, so keep your headphones on for this one because I am moving around. Stereo mic here. Yep, interesting. Oh, got a lot of bit of um, plosives, as we say in the industry, plosives. I'll, I'll hold it here instead. And here I am in the um, uh, in Cornwall. There's some trees. Looks like the start of my video, and it's bright. It's a bright sunny day. I can see lots of green. And here I am. We were um, moving around the van. There's my bike. I travel on my bike quite a lot. It's good. And now I'm behind. So Google Maps is telling me that I'll arrive there at about 10 past eight, but they're not accounting for the Talbot Compass. The thing is slow. You can only go the speed you'll go at. Morning, I am in Newquay with Michael and Oz. We've got Oz in the back there. I got here last night. It was a bit too dark to film, so I thought I'd wait until the morning. We're in Newquay and look, is pumping. Oh, we're on Fistral Beach. I'll speak into the microphone. And if you look over there, that's the hotel where they filmed The Witches. Da, 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 da. There it is. Da, 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 da. <laughs> wow. The famous Witches theme tune. Yeah. <laughs> You're going to be doing that a lot over the next. Yes, it's so beautiful. Amazing! I'm trying to keep up with these uneven paths. Wow! All I want to do is just take in the view though. Wow! And that behind us, hell! Oh, it's where they shot the witches. What was the theme to you, Mike? No. 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 <laughs> hey, look, is that a kite? Is that Red Clay Drones? Red Kite! Lucky, stop! That should get a nice breeze. What a place! Wow! Another bit of beautiful scenery. I love this place. It's nice and peaceful around here. But Mike has absolutely killed me. He's taking me on. I a normal run for him, but he's training for three marathons in a row. And uh, I'm not, 
I'm in a world of hurt right now. Just struggling putting one foot in front of the other, but I'm even tripping up over my own feet. I'm gonna keep it on going. No surrender, I think. Just, just keep on going. Thinking of the end, thinking of that finish line. Fading, fading away. What's there, mama? Dinner's ready, but it's only half past two. I don't care what time it is. The shrimps are in the oven, cooking up. You gotta get those into you. Oh God, I would love some shrimps right now. Shrimps, a glass of water. Oh, I've got water. Oh God. Yeah, makes all the difference. I had some green gauges, but they exploded in my pocket. Oh, I love some juicy green gauge right now. That absolutely killed me. I've uh, not stopped in a long time, but today the tank was empty. Shortly after I did that, the last video, my speech started slurring and I could barely pick my legs up. And I was just like, done. Uh, Mike was walking by me and he was walking faster than I was running. And so I was like, I, I have to stop, I'm done. And so the most humiliating thing is that he's gone to go and run back, get the van and come and pick me up because I can't make it back home. Alter humiliations, getting picked up. <laughs> Hello, watch out. Oz, 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 come on, let me in. Oh, get out of the way, Oz. I'm too tired for this shit. Oh. Oh. Hey, oh my God, I am dead. I got some. Um, oh, you got some green gauges. And green water. I need some water. Oh my God, this is like heaven. Green gauge, where is it? Is it Oz? Oh no, mine is mine. Green gauge. Green gauge. Ow. 